What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. Heading to my buddy's place. He's got this old boat. It's been in his garage for 15, 20 years, he said. If you watched my latest podcast, I talked about getting this boat in the spring and today is finally the day. Fired up. Also, the funny thing is I, I talked about this in the podcast too, but this guy and his dad are both really, 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 really smart uh, mechanical like guys. They fix everything. Hoping this thing starts. It's been 15 to 20 years since it's been fired up, he said. Knowing these guys, you never know. Let's go check it out. Well, here she is, guys. It's a 1989 Sea Nymph 16M. Got a Johnson 40 two stroke on the back. Also, got this little trolling motor on the back for just putting around. I mean, this boat weighs nothing right now, so it's pretty awesome. You know, I'll just do a quick pan of the whole boat bench, bench, console, bench with two more seats, another bench, and then uh, fuel tank and storage. So I'm actually gonna put this fuel tank here. Wiring's all neat. I'm gonna put three batteries here, one for the big motor, and then two for, uh, I bought a Minn Kota Ultrex. And that's really the only money that I had to invest into this boat was the Ultrex. I've never had spot lock, so I'm kind of fired up for it. I don't wanna bury a ton of money into it, especially because I have to keep it outside, but I do want it to be functional, so. I'm gonna build a compartment over the batteries and the gas tank, I got a three bank charger for here. This might be deck or I might leave it alone. I don't know yet. This is gonna get left alone, this middle part. I might put a floor in here just because it's kind of not sure yet. The front, now the front is gonna go through the most changes. I have to mount my trolling motor up here, like I said. So I'm gonna make a deck platform, a casting deck from here to here. So this is all going to be wood here and then it's going to have a step up and then my trolling motor is going to get mounted there. And then we're pretty much good to go, honestly. Motor ran, Johnson 40. It's got no bells and whistles where my other boat had live scope and it had all this fancy stuff. Probably the best conditioned 40, 30 year old boat that I've ever seen. So everything is mint, the trailer's mint. It's just in such good shape, it doesn't have leaks. I, just, I can't wait to get this thing out. So the seats are pretty much in mint condition. They come right out. There's this little metal track here that they can slide in and out so you can store them for the winter. Huge fuel tank, probably 20 gallons. That's like a month's worth of fuel for this boat. Literally, it weighs nothing. And then other than that, there's nothing here. Some of the other cool things about this boat that I'm looking forward to using, it's got rod holders. Bought one more rod holder, so I'll have four. I'm gonna fish a lot of live bait this year, so that'll be fun. This boat actually cost me nothing. My buddy gave it to me for free. Shout out, man. The nicest thing everyone, anyone's ever done. I'm looking forward to just anchoring down, putting some live bait out, bringing my son maybe, and catching some fish that way. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do for electronics yet, but it has this Lowrance X4, probably like 20 years old, I don't know. It's like a Super Nintendo of fish finders. Still works. What I do like about it is the mount. Check this out. You squeeze it, put it on. Squeeze it, take it off. Why don't they make them like this anymore? Yes, it feels a little cheap, but it's kind of nice. Another cool thing is uh, is the transducer with that Lowrance hook four is on this little mount here. It's sort of like the first Garmin live scope pole, I guess. Check this thing out. Look at this thing, it's pretty awesome. So you don't have to drill into the boat. Even if I upgrade the console graph, I can just put the transducer on this pole. It's pretty awesome. This is cool how this flips up. What else? It has electronic trim. I couldn't believe it. It has a trim motor. Still works. Just not bolted down, but that's an easy thing. Pretty awesome little rig. Got the new tires on. She good. 
So that's pretty much the rig, guys. Drop some comments down below if you've ever done some John Boat builds. I'd love to see what you guys have done before I really get into this. It's a fun little project. I think if I had a garage, I would really make it awesome, but I'll have this boat for a while, I think. So, But for now, I'm gonna just do the basics and make it functional. If you wanna see what I do with this boat, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along. I'll catch you guys in the next one.